Hey guys, welcome to the first video of the In Finer Detail series. In this video, I'm going to be going into finer detail on the Toyota Supra Mark IV I drew last week. Starting off with the front bodywork, you can obviously tell that this car has many reflecting edges concentrated in the front lip area. These small reflections I will call highlights in this video. When shading, I was careful not to color over these highlights as doing so would effectively remove the dynamic shape of the front. I'm using an HB and 2B pencil for most of this area, along with a .5 mechanical pencil loaded up with 2B lead. I decided to leave the indicator light for later as it was much lighter and had sharper edges compared to what I was drawing at the moment. I'm also being very careful not to smear pencil into the wider areas by putting a paper under my hand. This won't completely eliminate smearing, but it definitely limits it to a minimum. Then I move on to the hood area. I will start off by shading the area below the hood and then move on to the headlight. The headlight is a very important piece of this drawing as it's in the foreground. After that, I move on to the top of the hood. I will then move on to the fender and front quarter panel area. This part also expresses some slight edges around the fender, also expresses movement as this car is in motion. I start off by drawing the generally darker areas and then move, go over the entire panel with the brush. I'm actually using an eyeshadow brush as it picks up the graphite dust very well and I can spread, it, spread an even shade across the panel. A harder type of brush is usually recommended for this type of shading method, although a softer one will be better for lighter shading. I also don't recommend taking your mother's brush to draw with, as the graphite will likely remain on the brush even after extensive washing. Then I draw a part of the body kit. I'm honestly not sure what it does, but I assume it improves airflow around the car. Next, the door. Because I'm right handed and I'm filming from the right side, the majority of the process I accidentally covered up with my right hand. But you get the general idea of the areas I was careful with. I made sure to get the shading on the door the same as the quarter panel, and also included the sharp edges of the side skirts. I also drew the mirror with extra detail and to make sure it stood out, I had a few sharp pencil lines with mechanical pencil. The windshield was simply done by using the brush again to add shades and a light coat of 4B pencil in some of the darker areas. The interior of the car was mainly done with a 4B pencil too. Moving on to the rear of the car, I made sure to include the smoiler and add some reflection to the rear quarter panel.
Then we move on to the most important and hardest part of the drawing, the wheels and the tires. A great car drawing can be ruined by a terrible tire or wheel, so I need to be extra careful in those areas. Paying attention to even the minutest of details, I added and removed small highlights and shadow from the front tire and wheel. According to some, the sidewall of the tire is one of the key details that must be drawn well for the drawing to look good. Is there a trick to it? Of course there is. I'm just kidding, there's never a direct route to getting better at anything. But my best advice to you would be to take a look at the actual tires of a car and to practice many times. Remember, practice makes progress and perfection will follow. If you're a very picky artist or an avid car enthusiast, you'll probably realize that the center of the wheel is slightly angled off. Actually, you don't have to be a picky artist, anyone can notice that part. I realized that soon after I re decided to finish for the day and quickly fix it up off camera. Finally, I'll return to the indicator light at the front. I again use the mechanical pencil to get the small details in and briefly go over it with the brush. The intercooler I get colored in as well and use the brush again to my advantage. To finish this drawing off, I will use the Mono Zero Eraser to sharpen up the highlights and use a 10B pencil to darken some of the body panels and add shadows to the bottom of the car. You've probably seen me using the Mono Zero Eraser frequently to erase smaller details previously, especially in the front of the car.
After 5 hours of outlining and 15 or so hours of shading, the Super Mark IV is finally finished. Let me know what you guys think of this drawing in the comment section, hit the like button, and subscribe if you want to make my miserable days better. I'm kidding, every day is a good day, but seriously consider subscribing if you want more detailed drawing videos like this one. Remember to give me some constructive feedback in the comment section, and as always, thanks for watching.